Welcome back to Play VR AR, your source for virtual reality and augmented reality news. And I know what you're thinking. Should you get the Pico 4 or the Meta Quest 3? We're going to deep dive in and tell you some good things and some bad things about both headsets. So let's strap up. First up, let's talk about the Pico 4. Released in October 2022, this headset boasts a display resolution of 21 by 60 by 21 by 60 pixels per eye and a refresh rate of 90 hertz to 120 hertz. That's like having a personal IMAX theater strapped to your face. The field of view is 105 degrees horizontal and 95 degrees diagonal, which is wider than the grin on my face when I found $5 in my pocket. The Pico 4 comes with an ultralight motion controllers with cap active touch and six DOF tracking. It's like having Jedi powers, but without the risk of turning to the dark side. Luke, I am your father. The headset uses four onboard cameras for inside outside tracking and supports hand tracking. Under the hood, we have the Pico 4 is powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon XR2 processor with 8GB of RAM and up to 256GB of storage, which is the same processor that was in the Meta Quest 2. You know, your favorite. That's more memory than an elephant on a memory foam mattress. The battery life is up to three hours of continuous gameplay, but as we know, when we really test it out, eh, you probably get two hours and 40 minutes, two hours and 30 minutes. Now, let's move on to the rumored Meta Quest 3. Please keep in mind that anything I share with you will not be the secret information that I know as a real virtual reality product specialist. This is all rumors. Expected to be released in late 2023, the Meta Quest 3 is rumored to have a display of 21 by 60 by 21 by 60 pixels per eye and a refresh rate of 120 hertz. The field of view is estimated to be between 110 and 120 degrees, and that's wider than a gap in my teeth. The Meta Quest 3 is rumored to come with a redesigned touch controllers with cap after sensing. It's like they took the best of the Meta Quest Pro and gave it a makeover and took some things away and then put it in the Meta Quest 3. The headset is expected to use outward facing cameras for inside out tracking. So. Under the hood for the Meta Quest 3, the rumor is that it will have the Snapdragon XR2 Plus or equivalent processor with 12 gigabytes of RAM and up to 512 gigabytes of storage. That's more storage than a hoarder's basement. The battery life is estimated to be between two and three hours of continuous gameplay with the detachable battery strap, as well as of course, you can just plug right into your PC or of course, you know, with the MetaQuest 3, what we're missing is face tracking. All right. Yes, I love moving my face around and biting my words. So that won't be on the MetaQuest 3, unfortunately. Uh, but they do have some AI technology that will be going on with the controllers. That's what the rumor says. So, of course, we are anxious to see about that as well. But I'm super excited about that. The only problem with the Pico 4 is that you have to live in Europe. Right. So I know that we smuggled a lot of things in this country, in the United States that I'm at. But if you live in Europe, you get a chance to do the Pico 4, go to the Pico store. Us in America, we don't have that. But maybe you can get your hands on one and smuggle one in. Um, so I'm kind of torn. Of course, I don't live in Europe. Um, so I'm probably going to get the Meta Quest 3 because, uh, you know, I have to work with the Quest 3 and Quest and all the other quests. But that's neither here nor there. You know, I'm not saying that I've already worked with the Meta Quest 3. I'm not saying that on this channel. All right. I may or may not have worked with the Meta Quest 3. I may or might not have handed you a Meta Quest 3. OK, that's all I got to say about that. All right. I'm sorry, Mark. OK. All right. All right. All right. Let me let me shut up. This is play VR AR, your source for news. Check out these next videos.